Let's go straight for a bond check now with Simon Michelle from Fig Securities. Simon, um, Aussie yields are down a point. They've bounced off all-time lows. What's driving it? Yeah, good afternoon, Ingrid. We had that recovery late last week where we saw um, quite a bit of upward movement in yields. A bit of quiet one today, back about a point. So we're up around about 10 to 13 basis points from those all-time lows we saw last week. In terms of US yields, though, they're, they're drifting lower as well after a recent rally. Yeah, they have, absolutely. So we've seen a lot of rhetoric from the Fed uh, really about their intention to definitely increase rates once this year. Uh, that's being speculated possibly June, more likely the latter half of this year. And we have seen the market move. So the two-year rate was at 1.05 just after that increase in December. It's been down as low as... 0.71 is mm. back up about 0.88 so it's definitely moving in the right direction. But do you see all this talk about from Fed members, do you see that June hike being very much in play? Look, I don't. Uh, if you have a look at the data, I just think it's going to be very tough for them to do that. And I think, you know, you've still got this ongoing situation where you've got global, you know, it's many of the other major economies continuing to support markets through bond buying, increasing their quantitative easing packages. Mm. I just think it's very, very tough for the US to go it alone and start to move those rates up without tremendous impacts on the dollar and their internal manufacturing sector. Yeah, it will be interesting, though, uh, to see what's said in that meeting. Simon, Michelle, appreciate that snapshot. Thank you. Have Simon, Michelle, there from...